right, I'm standing here with uh, Daniel Adams ahead of your second fight. Your first fight ended in a draw with the same promoter, Boxing 5. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, this time I don't want to get a draw. I want to, you know, introduce myself well in the pro rankings in the bantamweight division. Let's talk about that. Let's go back to the first fight real quick. It was a very competitive fight. You showed what you were capable of, but what's different this time around? Uh, this time we just looked at, uh, me and my coaches, we looked at uh, what we did wrong because it was also, I was out of the ring for a long time. So we looked at what we did wrong and stuff. And now we, it, it will be a different fight this time. We'll, we'll see a different me this time. And of course, um, as an amateur boxer, of course, fighting at Boysons and, you know, fighting now as a professional in the same venue now for a second time, uh, does that mean something to you? Uh, you can just say I'm more comfortable now, <laughs> so... I don't think the nerves will be as bad as the first time. So. Yeah. And as a professional boxer now, you're coming up against a man that you fought in the amateur ranks, so there's a nice story. What happened in that fight? Uh, I won the fight on points, but I, I, I was dominating the fight. I won every round and stuff. It was a good fight. And yeah, this time we were expecting the same thing. You know, it's, it was a long time ago. You know, we've changed through the years and stuff. We've grown in boxing. So yeah. So let's go back to your amateur background. What did you accomplish as an amateur? Uh, well, I've been to the national championships, I think, three times. And I won the Gauteng Championships three times, yeah. And I've been boxing for 11 or 12 years now, so it's a long time. So. So when you stepped into the professional ranks for the first time, what was the noticeable differences? Uh... I can't really say what was the differences because uh, already in my last few years of amateur boxing, my style was changing and a lot of people were saying that no, you, your style is becoming uh, more on the professional side of boxing and stuff. So it, was, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't much of a difference, it's just that keep your hands up because this time it's, there's no head guards and stuff. I know that we are in the hot box gym, but of course you train a lot with uh, Sean Ness, a um, very good trainer as well on the upcoming scene. Uh, what's, what's your thoughts on Sean Ness? Uh, we have a bond because he has trained me also as an amateur because I, I was under his father and stuff. So it's nothing different. It's just what, what I enjoy this time is that our relationship is, uh, is someone that cares for me. And that's what, the, the, that's what I like about working with him and stuff because he looks out for me. What do fans need to look out for on fight night? What are, they, are, are they looking for a knockout? Are they looking for points? What's, what's, what's going to happen? Uh, you know, I'm not really... Gonna, I'm, not, I'm not too good with predictions and stuff, but I can say this time it will be... The last fight was... the last. My first professional fight was interesting. It was something. This time it's going to be better than that. We just want to work and uh, make things better each time we appear out there. It's going to be an all-action night of boxing, action-packed nights. Um, what's your message for your opponents before you step in the ring with him? There's no message for him. Well, you know, the, uh, after the first fight, uh, he's been wanting to fight me and stuff. So, yeah, now is his time and stuff. And I know he works hard and stuff. So now is his time and we'll see on fight day what happens and stuff. All right, so the rivalry will continue, but it'll end on fight night whether you win, whether he wins. Um, you know, but are you very confident that you win? I'm confident that I'm going to win because I work hard. I work hard. Right, so a lot of hard work has gone in the background before you're getting into the ring. Lastly, do you have any thank yous, any shout outs for anybody? Uh, no. Okay, thank you to my, to, my, to my coach, Sean. Yeah, thanks to you. All right, thank you very much. That's Daniel Adams fighting on the 16th of December at Boysons.